and use our hard work up too. They wanna see you down, I wanna see you in a coup. I'm from the six, that's why we have different views. But who can relate when it comes to me and you? Hey, spend some time with you. Pull up on the ends one time with you. No bad mind, bad man, them I look on you. I mean, you don't want to tell your friends, no you? Girl, I wanna spend some time. So, yeah, I'm actually feeling myself. I'm actually sorry. <laughs> I haven't recorded in so long, like the last video that I probably uploaded was in November. I'm so ashamed to say that, but better late than never, right guys? This highlight is popping though. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Did you guys miss me a little bit? Well, hopefully when you guys see this video, it will be Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day! In light of Valentine's Day, I thought I'd do this pretty look. Let me zoom in for you guys. I'm actually proud of myself because this is going to be my first upload for Valentine's Day. I'm going to try to keep the ball rolling guys, but don't quote me on that whatsoever. <laughs> I'm very spontaneous in making my videos and stuff like that. Like when I feel to do it, I really feel to do it. And that's when I feel like my best creations come out. So. And before I forget, please don't forget to subscribe. The button is either here or over here. I forget. So make sure you guys subscribe so that way you guys will be notified of any new videos that I have uploaded. So without further ado, let's get into this makeup tutorial. Okay guys, so first off, I'm going to use the Coco Bear Grapeseed Oil. I got it at the hair store. You can get this at your local beauty supply store. Then I'm going to go in with this Aromatherapy Moisturizer that I got for Christmas. And before I go in with my corrector, I'm just going to go in with this NYX Primer. Prime my face. I'm just correcting my face right now just to make sure that my foundation base is nice and even and I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics flat top brush and just blend it out next I'm taking the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in I believe it's golden honey I don't even know you guys can clearly see this foundation shade was not the shade for me but they wouldn't let me return that shoppers so a girl had to do what she had to do and make it work but I think I got it to work Yeah, this foundation took me so long to blend out, like it's crazy. I've never had to work so hard with a foundation before in my life. Maybe because the shade wasn't my foundation shade, so that way the foundation wasn't blending into my skin, but your girl was struggling. Next, I'm going in with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Liquid Liquid Concealer, and this is in the shade Caramel. This concealer is like bomb. It's so full coverage, and it's so thick, and the Dofa applicator is so nice. It just goes on with one swoop, and it didn't have a swoop, so just in case you guys are wondering. Next, I'm going to go in with my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. This has more of like a neutral undertone to it, so it's going to kind of cancel out all the yellowness that's going on in my face. So, here we go. The concealer also gave me a little bit of trouble blending it out because it was so 
thick and I didn't realize that this concealer would dry down so fast because what I usually do is I would put the concealer on my face and then let my concealer just let my concealer just stay on my face for a little bit just so that way it could get more pigmented and stay pigmented and you know it won't slide all over the place but I didn't realize how full coverage this, uh, this concealer really is so I started using it So I felt like that wasn't enough coverage for me, so I'm just going to go over one more time and blend that out and see how it goes. So this foundation was kind of acting a little bit weird on the left side of my face. It was kind of like spotting and being blotchy. I don't know what it was, but I think it was because I didn't blend it out fast enough and it didn't have time to blend out properly, so I think that's what it was. So now I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 330 Toffee. I really like this um, this powder for my all over face powder. And due to the foundation being lighter than my skin tone, it really helped tone it down a bit. As you guys can see, that spot is like really, really, really bothering me. So now I'm going to go in with another Fit Me powder. This one is in the shade 230. This one is a natural buff. I just use this as a nice natural highlight. Um, there's no really any color to it. So whatever color that you have underneath, like because I put the 330 toffee under, it's going to go and transition to that color. It's going to melt into my skin beautifully. And I like to do this stuff. I don't really like to bake anymore because I feel like baking really, really, really dries up my skin and... I don't want to have dry patches and I don't want to have dry skin so this step is is good for me so anyways I'm going with this Sephora new nude palette I really 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 like this palette I haven't seen anyone really talk about this palette like that it's very pigmented the pigmentation is up there and I highly recommend it but you know that's only if you have like you know the coins to spend on it because this isn't a cheap palette let me tell you that ladies and gentlemen so now I'm just gonna put some concealer on my eye and I'm going to prepare my lid for the eyeshadow So I'm going in with that shade Bubblegum and using that shade as a transition shade just so that when I put all the other darker colors on it, it will go on nicely. Now I'm taking a, another brush, um, I don't even know the name of this brush, and I'm just taking that pinkish color, which is called Lily, and I'm just taking that into my crease, and I'm just building up that color. And this whole look is about blending, so make sure you guys blend, blend, blend. I'm just taking a that same brush that I had bubblegum on, and I'm just, you know, diffusing any harsh lines and stuff like that.
Now I'm taking this shade Tulip, which is a nice, bright, fuchsia pink or magenta, I guess you would say. And I'm just defining that crease. Just keep on defining that crease. So now I'm going into my Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to take this shade, I believe they have names but I honestly I lost the thing for it, the sheet that came with it. So I'm going to take this shade and it's like a deep burgundy purplish color and you can see me looking at it, I didn't really like it because the look was just going too much in a pinkish tone or a purplish tone and I feel like I always do stuff like that. So you're going to see me go into the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and go into that nice deep red shade which is called Saffron. And as you guys can see it applied a nice a more red tone to it which that's what I was really going for. So now I'm taking the colors, um, I believe it's Lily Tulip and Saffron and I'm just sweeping it onto the bottom lash line and then I'm just going to do a halo eye. At first I thought I wanted to do a halo eye but honestly I did not know what the hell I was doing. So I just ended up winging it and I liked how it came out better so this is just me fast forwarding and cutting out all the extra BS so that you guys can see the final product because girl I was cutting my crease for so long like for so long so here I am just you know buffing everything into each other blending in everything into each other and I did not I don't know even know how to do cut creases so yeah so I'm taking this next shade magenta it's like it said a nice magenta and it and it is a it's not a foil but in the pan it looks like a foil but I would say it's more just a shimmer shadow so I don't have any glitter glue so I'm just taking my duo eyelash glue and I'm putting it all over my lid and then I'm going to go in back into the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette and grab this shade Cosmo it's a nice pressed glitter and I'm just going to pop that all over my lid you my world. You became a only one no time as you guys can see it was looking so bomb i just decided to put it all over my eyelid like this look that was a look yes girl and i was feeling myself as you guys can see like definitely feeling myself Girl, I was tired. The workout from beating my face, like I literally beat my face to the gods. So I'm now taking my OG Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and I'm just taking these two shades that I always take and I'm just contouring and bronzing up my face just to bring that melanin back. Now I'm taking this Maybelline blush palette and I got it at Shoppers Drug Mart. I can't believe how much, I can't remember how much it was but yeah I'm just taking these two shades and I'm just mixing them together and I don't know something about my eyelashes they never go on right, they never do. So I'm taking the Maybelline mascara called Snapscara and I really like this mascara because when you're taking it off at the end of the day, it's not really pulling out your lashes. It's just literally you put water on it and it literally comes off as a paste. It's so sickening. <laughs> I really like the formula in this. I wish all mascaras were like this. So now I'm just putting some faux seas on the bottom lashes. Just kidding. Just putting more mascara. More mascara. And this is my favorite go-to lip gloss of all time. It is by Maybelline. This is their Vivid Hot Liqueurs. In number 64, Unreal. I really, really love the shade with a brown lip liner. This is my go-to everyday 
every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, lip gloss, look at it, it's so warm, it's so warm, who is that, a little slow motion action for you guys, <laughs> enjoy. So I'm going into my favorite highlighter of the year. This is the foil, the highlighter foil palette by Fenty Beauty. I abuse the crap out of this highlighter palette, okay? I use this girl every day. I have to. I paid like $67 for it. I have to. So I'm just highlighting my face. I'm taking... Um, I think it's Stone Cold in the middle. Yeah, Stone Cold. Sorry, guys. I don't have none of the products beside me. But I'm using Stone Cold. Look at that highlight, though. Okay. the final look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time thank you for watching guys <laughs>